Yo, yo, what's going on, people? It's NFTR. Unfortunately, Dwayne couldn't be here with us, but obviously I'm with the lovely Charmaine. And today we have D Block Europe in the house. Welcome, yeah, yeah, boys. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's good? You know what I'm saying? You guys, you guys are really, really, really killing it right now. Yeah. There's so much to talk about. Um, let's start from the beginning, man, because ads like, I think, like I've been around since like 2009, and I remember you kind of being around around them times as well. You know, like in 2009, 2010. Yeah, you've been rapping for a very long time. Yeah, I believe you was like even one of the first people to get like a record deal, right? Uh, like not the first, but back no, one then. of the first. Yeah, like yeah, for yeah. what? For what? Youngest. For this whole for this yeah. the youngest. Yeah, yeah, 100. the youngest. Like this when N Dubs and Chip. Yeah, was firing and. Tinchy Strider was firing at yeah. the time there. Yeah, I got a universal deal with uh, Richard Castillo. And you was act, you was kind of a street rapper as well. That's why I was kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. mind blowing. How old was you at the time? I met him when I was 14, but I signed when I was 15. Yeah. Yeah. And you used to rap with your brother, I believe, as well. Benjamin, Benjamin AD. AD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he still around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna start releasing music in March. He's um signed a management deal to Elton John, I think. Something like that. Oh, sick. Congrats. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you've been you've been kind of committed to music for a long time. Mm. You took a little bit of a hiatus. Why? Why did you take the hiatus? Bando Baby 29, you know what I mean? It's out here on the streets from, from young. From seven years old, I was the hardest on the block. So like you come out my mum's house, there's a block right near there. So we used to be on the block, you know, playing out. Always on the block playing out. That's what you do, innit? You don't know it's a block, but you're playing out. And I was just sick. Olders used to tell me in a block. Stay in your house and rap, but I wanted to be outside. So it's always outside. So what is Bando tw- Baby 29? Because obviously when I first heard it, I just thought it was an MSM name. I thought you've gone nah, all the way nah, back. Nah, nah, nah. It does sound like one of them, no? No, no, no. No, that ain't no MSM. Okay, but then obviously as we advanced, I've realised no. there must be a bigger no, story to it. No, obviously it's Bando when MSM yeah, was yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, but do you know what I mean? I no, thought I maybe it was saying. advanced. You never know. I hear what you're saying, but fucking Bando Baby 29, Um, one of my younger brethren at the time um, used to stay in the band all so long his afro was like like you know how J. Cole's afro was before he got dreads like you know them matty ass afros <laughs> it'll be fresh to death Versace belt trueies you know 110s where 110s were the ting do you get what I'm saying like fresh to death but that hair and I used to be like yo you're a bando baby do you know what I'm like, you're a little bando baby and then we just all started running with, yeah, Bando Baby. And then the numbers came into it. And then differently from that, I've always called myself a Bando Baby because from young, uh, I was I used to sleep over in Fiend's houses because the Fiends were my friends at the time's parents. But we, we, didn't, we didn't know nothing. Do you get know what I'm saying? So they're, you know, smoking, whatever, pinning up, injecting and that. And I'm just playing over in their yard, not knowing nothing, just trying to play GameCube. Do you get know what I'm saying? So... Bando babies, like, I'm a bando baby. I was raised in a bando. Do you know what I'm saying? A lot, a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of the youths were doing this good boy thing or whatever. Even when we was doing a good boy thing, it was in the trap. Do you know what I'm saying? That's actually crazy. You said that in such a smooth way. And I think it just clear that we're really desensitized to some of the stuff that, you know, like you, was, you weren't thinking about what you was doing. You are just doing nah. it. So yeah, I'm yeah. at my friend's house. We're yeah, playing yeah. computer. We're staying over. Yeah. And his parents just so happened to be buying something, yeah, yeah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And then his parents turned into my first fiends. When I was 12, I got my first set of food. I said, I know exactly where I'm going to. 13, I know exactly where I'm going to. I'm going to their house. So obviously, when once you signed the record deal, um, did you have a different outlook on life? Obviously, you was quite young. No. 13 when you first signed. Or 14? No, no, no. 15. 15. I was 14 when I met him. Yeah. So when I signed my deal, I still I used to like go to the uh, lawyers' meetings and just sleep. My brother would be awake because remember my brother signed as well. They initially wanted to sign me. I was rapping with my brother, and then I had a producer called C Major, and I said to Rich, I said if you don't sign them, I ain't signing. And he tried to break down to me the whole thing of, you know, there's always one star in a group. I didn't care about that. I said, yo. If you don't sign them, forget about it. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, I'm going to sign them. So I went um, to the lawyers 
She used to fall asleep. I never really understood what was even going on. I thought when I sign this paper, finally, I'm going to get like some crazy amount of money or something. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be with Little Wayne next week in America or something like that. But my outlook didn't change at all. Next day, me and LB went, we riding bikes and that, bought some bikes, bare shit, doing bare shit like that. Yeah. And just out it, doing young kid shit. So let's talk again. about the resurgence then, because then the next time we seen you after that, really... We saw you rapping alone and then we saw like the emergence of DBE, right? Yeah. Is that fair to say? No, nah, what happened between that time was, so there's a big gap between that and then me rapping again and going with Kiss. Then there's a big gap between me and Kiss together and then DBE. So how did that come about? How did you meet Jada Kiss? Um, see, now we're skipping. So, so go all the way back. Go yeah, all the way yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Tell us the story. So let's talk about how I came out of that deal. Because I okay. signed a five album deal when I was oh, 15. Wow. Back then that was normal. People were signing seven albums. Is deal. that something you would advise people not to do? No. <laughs> not, that, not now. Not, not in this day and age. Spotify, all that stuff. Back then, I think we'll not to talk other rappers' numbers and that. But there was rappers, big rappers now that were signing album deals for 20k now. You ain't even going to take 20k for a single now. Do you get what I'm saying? So... um. When I look back here, it wasn't a bad deal that I was in. I was just a bad dude. Do you get what I'm saying? So like, my understanding of business and music and all that, I've always been smart. So maybe I could have sat down and understood it, but I didn't want to understand it. I didn't care. I didn't want to have this. I didn't listen in school. So I'm not trying to listen in all of this stuff. Do you get what I'm saying? So um, I had a big fallout with Rich. And shout out Rich's love. He's doing his, his head of uh, what, what labels? I think Polydor is at now. I think he's somewhere else now. I think, he came back. I think he's coming back. Yeah, to shout him out. I'm it's not love. sure, Rich. Don't hold it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's love. It ain't no grudges. It's big love. But um, we had a little fallout. And at a time, I could tell because he was coming and getting me, bailing me out of police station. So what happened was, was I signed my deal and Dubs is popping. Mm. I'm signed to Rich. Yeah. Rich is N Dubs' manager. So mm. N-dubs are popping, bro. I'm talking N-dubs when they're guaning. No, no, they, no. They ain't no time. All yeah, that. all of that stuff. They ain't no time for, for a little young boy with a bad attitude. So I'm saying shit to Rich. Like, nah, like, you got... Come remember, the whole hood thinks I... No, I signed. Yeah, they yeah, think yeah. I got a mad belly. I'm still on the block. I've ran through my advance now. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm just bought, ran through that in like a week, two weeks. Do you get what I'm saying? It'll be out here. So fucking... <laughs> um, LB was had a good time. <laughs> 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 we, we, we you know what <laughs> so fucking um so I'm saying like yo like it's cool like that shit. I remember one time me and my brethren, um Aki Omar, he's on uh, the I remember song. He ain't no rapper though, one of my friends. We had gone to Universal. I'm like, nah, we took a train up there. I'm like, nah, I'm gonna show this nigga like I'm in tough shit. I'm, just, I'm laying it on my man today. And we had a meeting and I'm telling him, bro, you're like 32, I got beef with niggas your age. I got beef with 30 year old niggas. You got me in the hood. Everyone thinks I'm saying like, we need to get moving. And he tried to lay out a single for me to do. And I just had a bad attitude. Some of it, I don't think he got my vision, but I said, no. Nah. And then at the end of it, we had a big argument. I said something I should have said. And then he just said, thankfully, let's just done the thing. Do you get what I'm saying? So we just stepped out of that. So then after that is when LB has always been my best friend. From year seven. His older brother is my manager now. So at the time, um, when I came away from him, I said to LB's brother, we had both said to each other, yo, you manage me, whatever, whatever. He's got the link with Kiss. See what I'm saying? So he's, um, the Kiss ain't involved, nothing to do with this now. I just went back to being on the streets. Me and LB's out here trapping, doing dumb shit. You know, real dumb shit. And then fucking, um, I caught some cases. And then while I've caught my case, uh, his brother, my manager, has flown out to New York. I started, you know, sewing up the link, planting the seeds, whatever. And then I'm on tag working, making songs and that back in the studio. And I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to be a good boy now. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just turned 17. Do you know what I mean? Oh, so I'm on tag for a cunch case. I got bagged in Oxford in a Q7, busting bait shots out of the window. Got bagged <laughs> by gun chicks. Do you know what I'm saying? Me and my nigga vibes, they pulled up on us with the waps out. Boom. 
took off my shoe, found my shank in my shoe straight away. Nigga looked at me like, that where you put it? I'm like, I, I got food, but I couldn't even bank my food because how I had it. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I'd even just lacking, smoking weed, drinking magnums, busting shots, doing dumb shit real young. Mm. In Oxford, I... I it's me. important that you're acknowledging that it is dumb shit. It's dumb shit. Yeah. It's real dumb shit. Like, yeah. It's not great shit. It's dumb shit. Mm-hmm. And the money's not even worth it. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, um, that's what I was on my, that's what I was on tag for. Luckily, back then, now there's a country epidemic, county line epidemic, whatever they want to call it. So now they, they'll make examples of you. Back then, it was like, all right, a little kid. When you're, when you're 16 at the time of my arrest, I'm a kid. First, not my first time being nicked, but first offense on paper. Yeah, uh, pled guilty straight away. Someone made me do it, whatever, whatever. Will that shit let me off? Give me tag and community service and knife awareness classes and probation. All that shit. So now I'm on tag, I'm working. I'm like, yeah, I want to rap and shit. LBs, you know, in my ear. Need to rap, need to rap. You're the hardest in the country. You're the hardest in the country. Cool, rapping. Then I don't know. Remember that uh, Trinidad James song? Um, oh, go on my watch. Yeah, yeah. Don't believe me, just watch. Yeah. I got a song with Kiss. And um, someone called King B yeah. from um, Miami. How did the so-, so I know that he went over to to get the to, to do the link to set up the yeah. ties. So yeah. how did the song come about? He had showed them my version of that song. Kiss was only ever meant to just jump, give us a sixteen, and then Kiss was like, "Nah, he ah, that little nigga ah." I didn't know none of this story. I mean, then um, I'm in my house on tag. I was on the phone to um. I was on the phone to someone. My manager's phoned me. My manager phoned me. Picked up the phone. He's like, yeah, Kiss wants to chat to you. Shit. Jada Kiss. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kiss. All right. He's like, yeah, ass. Crazy. Good old guy. Did Crazy. he go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He got, he, he's, he, he's got crazy on the phone. And I, so I'm just like, let me show you something. Rapping. Just rapping, rapping, rapping for like 10 minutes. I, I ain't letting him get off the phone. I'm just rapping. I said 10 minutes for yeah, yeah, rapping. Just rapping. Back I'm to like, back. I respect yeah, it. I'm like, fuck it. I've got a kiss on the phone. You know? What's he going to do? Tell me I'm shit. All right. At least I rapped a kiss. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've always been, you know, have the balls to do that shit. I really care. And he's like, yeah, he's like, you don't. He said, uh, I want to fly you out now. I'm like, I'm on tag. I got to explain to him. Tag. They don't call it that in America. Curfew, ankle monitor. He's like, where? You, what, you trapping? I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, Stay out of the long reach of the federal law. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's so much like it. <laughs> that's, that's what you said, you get me? And I was like, yeah, all right. And then two days, I came off tag on the 10th. Still the yeah, probably, I got it on recorder. I mm. came off tag on the 10th, on the 11th, I was in New York. Chopping it up over there, saying he wants to sign, man. And, you know, we still had a deal and, Bust you over here because if you blow in America, England comes with it. Yeah, Whereas, yeah, yeah. you know, wasting time trying to blow in England and then going over there to blow in America when you can just blow in America and then England automatically comes with who blows in America, isn't it? And you know, you say no me, one's quite done it like that yet, though, right? No, no, I don't think nobody has. It's, Maybe it's, Slick Rick, Slick Rick, man, back in the yeah, day, yeah. he just went straight to, do you know what I mean? But I don't think they've really heard, you know the best representations of UK music in America, but we'll get into that It'll later. Come, yeah. And um, fucking, you know, he said to me, yeah, go, go back and, you know, pattern up and all that. And I went back and I didn't listen. I went back and was trapping and caught some more cases and basically, you know, just did the bad old baby 29 shit. So how did it turn into the, all right, so cool. You've linked up with Kiss. Um, I presume Kiss likes Sorry, you. Sorry, yeah. we, we set up D-Block Europe. All right, cool. Me and Aero Sync. Okay. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. Who's Aero Sync for those that don't know? Uh, he made a song of us called Diamonds. And Squad. Squad and... Um, ringing. Must be. Yeah. Ringing. Must be. Yeah, must be. Yeah, in the, in the early days of D-Block Europe, it was... Shout out Aero. Is he still a part of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's family in it, so... Just, just to quickly... How many people are in D-Block Europe right now? Too many. There's like 20 niggas in jail in D-Block okay, Europe. Okay, how many artists that are making music <laughs> are in D-Block Europe right now? Um, artists? Yeah. One, two, three, 
you know, this is Little Pino, everyone. Shout out Little Pino. This is me and LB's artist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't it's worry, we're going to be jumping on his, Little Pino in yeah, a minute. Yeah, officially yeah. signed. Officially signed to us. His mixtape's coming yeah. out. His mixtape's coming out this year. Premature. Yeah. So Look out for that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, um, yeah, we got a couple other people in the camp. So how did you set it up? So you, Kiss is good with you. You've set up D-Block Europe with Aero. Yeah. What's next? I really want, LB. I want, is, I was really LB want to making know what music? L, I want to know what LB's saying at this time. So yeah. obviously Nothing. Your, your, your brother's done done the link up. He's, he's, gone, he's gone back. He, so you're, you you know that he's, he's, he's back doing this because you're involved. Shit. Yeah, so you're LB's, crazy LB's shit, in the hood trapping. Right. I'm mean, crazy. Do you know what I'm saying? On these dirt bikes, yeah. you know, being LB, doing crazy, nasty shit. Yeah. So what, you really you really used to ride a dirt bike? <laughs> this yeah, nigga yeah. used to trap Cause on I, I used to pull up on the bike. Because when I was on Instagram back in the day and I used to see your name come up, I used to think you was one of those... Um, Obviously, this is when Meat Mill was doing the bike stuff and then people from London was no, doing no, the bike no, stuff. No, 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 no. Before Meat Mill no, no, came no, no, out wait, doing it. Yeah. Wait, wait, not, not people from London. Some I, I yeah. officially was the first. Yeah, but are you like a serious I, biker? Are you doing wheelies and shit? Like, can you do all of that? Well, at this point. Huh? At this point. That's it. Huh? At, at, at this point. point. Yeah. Yeah, I was the first. Official. He said he's the first with Vim. Yeah. Yeah. But that's okay. some old shit, you know what I'm saying? So, so you can do the wheelies, the tricks, everything. Bro, everything yeah. with me on the back, bro. The tracks doing 120 you know miles yeah, per I need hour. To, I need to set up a you versus get situation. No, no, no. Bro, don't that. do that to get. <laughs> Shout out gets, but don't do that to get. Oh, for real? Is that serious? Don't do that to no rappers in the game, bro. I see Bugsy Malone's biking as well. Don't do that to Bugsy Malone either. Bugsy. The only biker is me. Yeah. 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 We'll have to, we'll have to, yeah, we'll yeah, have to yeah, set yeah, that yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to Shout set out Lap as well, because Lap was the yeah. original biker. He was the original. Well. Me yeah. and him. Lap right around. Yeah. Yeah. He came out of jail. Yeah. We bought Honda CRs, yeah. 1T5. You'll see Lap in the squad video. Oh, brother. We on the R6. Yeah. All right, cool. So you're doing dumb shit. He's in the hood. And now... Trapping. He's... He's. I don't want to glorify it. That's why I'm saying it like that. Yeah, and doing dumb shit. Hood. Yeah, doing dumb shit. Doing what we rap about. Doing what we all rap about. I'm in the hood. And then, yeah. obviously, <laughs> Ads has been put in a situation. He set up something with. Era. He's with me. He's okay, over there with there. me. Okay, yeah. you was, yeah, there. I was there. Yeah. So was you rapping at the time? No, you wasn't. Oh. Okay, cool. So when did you decide to start rapping? We gotta get to that. So okay, that's what I'm cool. saying. So, so take then, us then what happened was is remember Kiss told me when you go back to England, you know, your D Block Europe now, you with Aero, we putting you in position to make music. So, you know, just rap, go home and rap. Yeah, I I really thought I was just gonna go home and rap. You know, days turn into weeks, weeks turn into months. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? So whatever, I'm back in the trap, you know, like oh I'm only reloading the block, I ain't gonna spend time up there. Then that turns into now I'm spending time up here. Mm. And that turns into, oh shit, I'm in a band though right now. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, while I'm on the phone. So then I caught some cases, which I'm still on now, why I haven't gone back to America. So when that's all happened, everything's in a miss. Because I'm meant to go back there. Do you know what I mean? Because remember, the aim is to take America. Do you know what I mean? Do an album. I'm meant to go back over there. I've done a verse for um, Kiss's album. Yeah. Confetti, that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's popping. Everyone wants to know who, who's Young Airs, who this little London boy. I meant to go over there and pattern up. But then um caught some cases. I was on the run for like nine, ten months. It's mad because my door got I found out I was on the run the same day. No, wait. Cause at this point, this joint's going off. Yeah, you confetti. Know what I'm like, yeah, yeah. In I'm the strip there, clubs. I'm in New York. In the strip clubs, yeah. Oh. 17, mm. I'm in New York in the strip clubs with Kiss and they're really running the joint and people are knowing the bars and shit. Yeah. And they're asking, him, bro, is that him? That they think yeah, they're me. thinking, he's this London nigga. You're saying, I'm saying, nah, this nigga's here. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. it will be. I'm getting all FaceTime and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, this shit's a movie, like. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like yeah. yeah, and then I think we was in Blue Water shopping and then I got a call saying, Jake's just been in my mum's yard. I got, I got a warrant out. And the, the the New York was the day after that. You get what I'm saying? I'm like, what for what? They like, rare, 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 rare. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm like, Shh. my face dropped. Every time my face drops, this nigga looks at me like, this something's crazy yeah. shit. He's like, what? He stopped straight away. He didn't even look at me like, what? <laughs> Bro. I'm thinking, wow, oh, but it, it had made sense because a lot of people around me and whatever, whatever was getting nicked. So, you know, 
I, I, I had, you know, been expecting it. So when that happened, I'm on the run, but we're still recording. We ain't making no music. I'm still trapping. I'm on the run. I'm still trapping. And then um, we had a big meeting. Me and his brother, um, my manager. And he's basically like, you know, sticking it on me. Like, bro, you got to, you got to, we've invested too much money into this. It's getting embarrassing. We've made too much links happen. Like, you need to make some music. You know what I'm talking about? And then I'm like, um, LB, it's only going to work if you rap with me, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. That's cool. when LB started rapping. Because one of you might have been a bad influence on the other if you guys weren't doing the same thing, kind of kind of flex, basically. All right, cool. Completely understand that. So, cool. So you guys are out here. You're putting some music out. Not guess. yet, not yet, not yet. Oh, you're not out here. Okay, where we're are in the we? studio. We're in the Treating studio. Treating the studio like cool. the trap house. No, 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 no. Actually, we're not. We're not there yet. Because he's still got to go by yeah. rapping by himself first. I had that conversation with LB, but I was just capping because I really didn't practice none of that. I'm still trapping, and then LB's getting onto me, like, bro. What the fuck are you doing? I told you because he was in the strip club. He felt it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Once you had the experience, he was like, oh, shit. Yeah, Can't go back to doing dumb yeah. shit, basically. And, and yeah. Yeah. What I'm doing is it's yeah. working, man. It's just yeah. Lying, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, yo, hey, this shit's going to work, isn't it? So let's go. Remember, he, he's over there. He's in the, the New York state of mind. Yeah. I'm over here. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in the seaside state of mind. I'm in the, you know what I'm talking about? I go. 14, 15 nitties in this house right now. I ain't trying to talk about no strip club. So no talk about. I can't even get there. Mm. So then he's like, to the point where it's affecting our friendship. Like, mm. bro, you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing. That's love though, right? You know what I'm talking about? So then he's, he's telling me, yeah, you got to start rapping. We're arguing and shit, you know what I'm talking about? And then uh, we started going to the studio, creating this whole sound, bringing Goddy to the studio, free Goddy, Domes, Giant. You know what I'm talking about? All of that shit. Free nine goody, bro. Free nine goody, trust me. Yeah. And then we're, we're, we're spending like probably about 20, 30 hours a week in the studio. Mm. But we're not rapping yet. Yeah. So that's when we're working real. on this sound. That's when we're grinding. Real, yeah, yeah, we're spending yeah. guys re-up yeah. on studios. And yeah. I'm a businessman. So I'm like, yo, this ain't working out now. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, we sounding good. So we got to start releasing and shit. That's where we at. So I see, like I said, I've seen you guys bubbling, 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 bubbling. And then I feel like for me personally, a couple of songs uh, really changed that and made everyone aware of how sick you lot really are as artists. Um, I think the first one for me, I actually remember, I even remember you You guys came to the office once and we I was we just spoke. about to say that. Yeah. We came here first. <laughs> Yeah, you yeah. can't dismiss that because I remember we came here and yeah. you, you you affected our feelings that day yeah. Yeah. because uh we was like, you know, LB's always had this thing, ads is the hardest in the country. I've always had this thing, I'm a rapper, but really I weren't a rapper because I'm not rapping. And we came here, we sat down, we chatted to Posty and Posty like, yeah, because I wouldn't even consider you lot rappers. Like you lot just trap and then make a video and then fuck off for three, four months. But we're in the now. We 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 don't really want to want to accept yeah, that. Yeah, so like, yeah. what? I'm saying we ain't even rappers, cause like what the <laughs> fuck? That's the hardest, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? The post that no, but a lot of other rappers and that had said that. Like we know you lot are sick, but you lot just trap, make a video, and then fuck off back to where you came from. You know what I'm talking about? So we came here, wrapped up with you, and then we dropped Unforgettable, and then Trap House. Yeah, Trap House was the one. I Game feel changer. Like- yeah, I feel like Trap House just really, really set things off. I love that tune. That's one and, of my favourite you know tunes. Let me say this one thing, because a lot of people would say, like, obviously now the tapes are, niggas are getting that like, LB's hard. Yeah? Mm. But a lot of people would say, why don't you just go solo? Mm. And it's like, most of the good things, and I'm saying this on record, on rec, most of the good things that came out of, all of these highlight moments we're talking about was all LB. Mm. I didn't want to shoot Trap House. Mm. Do you know, do you know, we came back from damn man's uh, losing a bag five three and a half grand six grand in the casino busting hammers in Amsterdam you know having a good time and then we come back and LB's like yeah we're shooting a video 
That would be at my favorite line in yeah. um, Trap House. I can't remember what it was. She can keep the roll here, fam. No, that's not. Uh, fucking. Um, he had my favorite line. She can line have the keys to my bimmer. She can have the keys to my trap house. No, nah, it was something else. I can't remember what it was. I but. I was bro, Fauci. Uh, I'll tell you after. I'll tell you after. I need to go. <laughs> but it is definitely my favorite yeah, light in trap, trap house. No, no, it fully is trap house. Yeah. Certified. Oh no, it's large amounts. You got yeah, my favorite you, line in. You, you got my favorite line in, yeah. in large amounts. And then large amounts came off the trap house. Yeah. That banged. I was like, yes, man. Like, I'm glad that you guys are making like it's all about cons- consistency and momentum. You understand what I'm saying? Especially when you're when you're talented and you're lucky, because a lot of people are talented, but it's difficult to catch everyone's um attention. So I feel like when you have everyone's attention, you got to really just captivate and and explore that moment. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I feel like Large Amounts definitely did that for you. And after that, it was a wrap. You did the trophy joint with yeah, notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was an excellent chess young move. Young T.M. Bugsy. The Young T.M. Bugsy the collab. The Shard. Oh, the Shard. The Shard went <laughs> off crazy. The <laughs> Mate, the Shard... Mate, you had High Street Ken going crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everyone yeah. wanted to sign the shard. Did you not get banned from the shard after listen, that? Listen, I was hearing, <laughs> I was hearing the craziest numbers for the shard, yeah. And I was thinking, mate, I wish you you lot met these guys six months ago because these lot have like proper made an absolute what's it called switch turnover. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It was being really considered. Highly, and no, I was proper shard, happy for you. The shard was the game changer when it comes to fucking um, labels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the labels because they've been they've been trying to sign you guys for a minute. Yeah, and you've been saying no for a minute. Yeah, we said yeah to the shard. You said yes to the shard. Yeah. That was your first, mm-hmm. your first, your first dabble. Yeah. Um. What are, are they not offering you enough? Is that the problem? You know what it is, bro? It's not about, like, enough money. Because remember, you're, you're looking at niggas that was always spending their money on the projects and understand money. Me and LB is our own bosses. He is a boss in a whole nother game from what? Do you know what I'm talking about? I was a boss in a whole nother game from... Do you know what I'm talking about? So we both understand spending, getting back, and risking that bread. Do you know what I'm talking about? So a lot of these men would come in there, no offense to them. A lot of these people, these artists you see will go in there. Here, what, 45k, 50k for a single? Hell yeah, I'm taking it. I ain't even got 5k. Do you know what I'm talking about? And get bamboozled by these people in these buildings. Whereas us, man, we're like, we're more like, all right. How are you gonna market? Compare D Block Europe to someone in the UK that came before us or that's here now. I I definitely feel like you're you're very unique. So then how are you gonna promise me you can market us and make us bust when we ain't existed yet? So you're telling me we're we're an, a, a experiment. Do you know what I'm talking about? I'm not trying to sign you. No, I would, I would yeah. though if you'd no, like no, no, no. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you did try and sign the shot though. You know what I'm talking I about? did, I did try and yeah, sign the shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wish <laughs> I, I wish yeah. I signed you from Trap House. Boy. <laughs> Ten album deal. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you didn't believe come much, on, bro. Yeah. What you're lying? No, no, I no, definitely no, no. did believe in no, you, hundred percent. I, I, I never say you didn't believe in us. I just say. Well, with six months, it sounds like Posty put a put a foot up your ass. To be honest, no, it's, no, yeah, like, nah, literally. Because I definitely... if you left, if you left the nah, office, he knew, he knew, he knew. Fe- feeling feeling some kind of way, that's the type of. Human beings are more likely yeah. to move away from pleasure that yeah, away you know, from pain than You know what pleasure. it is? I just knew that they were super talented. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? And I feel like they just needed to hear it from somebody completely yeah, outside yeah, yeah, their yeah, yeah, circle. Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. We got to Nasty. Before Nasty, we've got very open conversations about a man them from the roads talking about eating pussy, yeah? Yeah. And this, but people ain't doing this. People are in denial. People say, What conversation do you want? Me and Hypo? Yeah. On uh, Instagram Live? Yeah. Yeah. So, obviously. I didn't see that. No, no, no. Did you not go live? That's, yeah, that me and Hypo was talking about it the day I I recorded Nasty. He was in LA. I could just go and shout like, yo, yeah. I just go brazy on live. Yeah. Yo, ring ads, ring ads. They try, they, they try to put ads. me on like, uh, some, uh, shit. They try, how should I hold the mic? However yeah. you want, you're good. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah, fucking. They try to put me on like UK drill news and like 
like I've just let the cat out of the bag. Like they they don't even know I just Literally. recorded nasty. Oh, Do you know what I'm talking about? Like 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 oh he's mad. Turn up and just slipped out on live. Yeah, they thought you said it by accident. Yeah, they don't know. Oh, I, this I, is how it started. This yeah. is how oh, everyone. Okay, I didn't first. even know. They don't even know I just recorded nasty. That's why me and Hypo was talking about. Oh, because he'd heard the pussy, song. Because I was playing him the song. We was on Facetime. Do you know what I'm and saying? What was he saying? He was saying, saying nothing. He was crazy. saying you're, you're going crazy. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't. I, he says he don't personally do it. Yeah. But you know, each man to their own, bro. When a nigga's a real nigga, what the fuck? You gonna tell me I'm a waste man because I eat pussy? No, because that's that's a lie. You gonna tell me I'm a snitch? No, because I'm not. You gonna tell me that you are gonna rob me because I eat pussy, or you gonna see me and, and it's gonna be easier for, for you to move to someone that eat pussy that don't eat pussy? But it no. used to be it used to be a hot bands topic. So obviously, yeah. yeah but do you know where that stems from? Hot. That stems from the older Yardies, yeah? Yardies came over here on the bad boy thing, whipping up grub thing and licking man down thing late 90s. So if you're still going to follow what the Yardies done, because Yardies used to kill snitches, you know? Do you know what I'm saying? Yardies used to have a problem with people and lick them down. And if he's a snitch, I'm licking him down. Even if he snitched on a man from Wells, I'm licking him down. So if you're still going to follow them Protocols and morals Still all of it Then still follow them ones Then come I'm seeing Half of the game Got snitches in their videos how, how much man on the streets Now seen niggas Yeah he's a snitch But he didn't snitch on me Or yeah he snitched But he snitched when he was younger What? I don't give a fuck How young you was When you snitched You, you chose your life Do you know what I'm talking about? You're gonna tell me That a nigga uh, uh, A nigga raped someone When they was 13 But he ain't a rapist no more Because he's 17 you tell me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing this. No, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm asking you a question though. Is he still a rapist at 16? But what? he raped someone at 13? Yeah, I mean, if it's, if right. it's done, so if, it's done. You so can't if, undo it. You know what I'm saying? So if you're a snitch and you rap when you're young, you're a rat now, bro. I ain't that type of nigga to see someone and go, can I see certain real niggas doing all that shit? You know what I'm talking about? And let's not, let's not, like this Mr. Fat, yeah, that um, is, is the, like the biggest, you know what I'm saying? Like Foreplay. Women. But let me tell you what's not cool for the youths watching this thing. I'm watching me and LB and thinking, yeah, nasty, go and suck pussy. Don't go and eat a girl's pussy, like, just because to eat pussy. Like, be nasty with your girlfriend. Hell no. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. Be nasty with your little shorty, your bona fide. Don't meet a girl in the club and then eat her pussy. Are you going to end up on Which Snapchat? Not New Year's, man. Nah, 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 nah. nah. End up on don't Snapchat. do it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not you know New what Year's on the step. <laughs> don't do that. You've, you've got a girl and you glorify yeah. that. We yeah. see that on your socials. Yeah. You just bought her a Rolex for her birthday. Obviously, you just had a daughter as well. So it's not like... Now, hold on. Hold Shout on. How can, you ever, how can you say the Rolex stronger than, than you just had a daughter? The major now... <laughs> nah, but... Nah. Yeah. Come on. How often nah, do nah, I, nah, I, nah, don't nah, ask nah, how nah. your daughter is all yeah, the time. Yeah, don't yeah, listen yeah. to this girl, bro. <laughs> now, you know what? When, when Posty hit me uh, about the NFTR, first thing he asked was, hope your family's cool. Good. There you go. So I I go, so I go there you go. There you go. At that time, because no one had done it, it was it was still like a big deal in the UK as well. In yeah, America, it was the first time somebody from the UK stepped out yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. So and it, didn't, it, did, it doesn't seem to have harmed your credibility or music. This is what I'm trying to say to you, bro. How can it? Niggas have done real shit. Did you get so, like, bro? Did you, you get can... a lot of backlash? Was there backlash? Did you what see backlash? Of... I saw people talking about it, so I thought it was quite well, a positive well, thing. I didn't think it was a negative. Saying? Even like, if people was moaning or whatever they were saying, they're still talking. I think, like, I don't know, man. A couple of people saying you changed. Yeah, really? I, I think. Would you, would, would you, I don't know. Uh, guys. Whatever that means. Yeah, I, guys, I, don't, know how, I don't know how a guy can Some, say nah, that. Not girls. Guys, Look, yeah. How, how can I'm fake you, accounts. Yeah, I'm fake accounts. <laughs> they stick, man, anyway. But what I want to know is, yeah, is that... What can you backlash about about a uh, nasty? Listen to what I'm saying. I'm a nasty ass nigga. I kiss every single body part she got. I'm still a G. I take 10 grand out and get the mother shot and shot the fuck up in OT. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you know people I'm like talking to isolate about, bars. You can't so, so though. So they weren't isolating the whole, what's called, they just wanted something to talk about, which was nah, good. Nah, but you it know what is? in your favor though. Me and my niggas used to get on a train, six hours, eight hours, nine hours, go there and lick out. Facts. Bando baby 29. That's, do you know what I'm talking about? This ain't no, like my mum will tell you, my mum will tell you that there's a period of a year where she ain't like she she's talking to me uh once every two weeks. She ain't even got a number for me. I'm just pulling up on her. Hey mum, you know what I'm talking about? Wow. So yeah, like my mum will tell you this shit. So Let's you talk- can't you can't discredit nasty because what we're saying is factual. 
No one from Lewisham ain't turned around. There's a lot of rappers from Lewisham. No one ain't said, ah, oh, that man, I'm even mad. They can't. Do you think that, that that helped Nasty as a track? The conversation, the, the viral... Of course it did. No one ain't done that before. Wow. So for us to run around and, and say that, I'm a nasty ass nigga. And we're wavy as well. So it's not just popping because the song's controversial. It's popping because... The song's good and he's talking about Ian Boss. And you're not the only nasty guy in Deep no, Rock no, Europe, no, no. but we're going to get to that in, yeah, in, in, in a bit. Sam, you're I'll having be. too much fun. you got to relax. <laughs> you got to relax. All right, so we're going to say that again. We're going to say that again as well. But you're not the only nasty guy in Deep Rock Europe either. So we're going to get to that shortly, LB, yeah? Because you're not alone. Yeah. Host, I know you've got some more questions, but we're going to wait. We're going to save that one. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I was going to ask. All right, cool. So obviously... You haven't done a lot of features, not that many. No. Nah. Um, obviously, why? we still got to do our little. Um, um, there's our, there's our a little reason thing. why. Yeah. Yeah, we still got to do yeah, our yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we still got to do you know our thing. Yeah. yeah. Hold me. Yeah. You still got to put a big homie on one of us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. We got to work it out. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Um, why we ain't done no features? No, yeah. no, I wasn't even asking. Oh, tell that. me why. Okay. okay, tell us why. Sorry, Shams. Uh, Please forgive me. Forgive me. I think, I don't know. When, when you hear D Block Europe, who do you hear underneath that category of the type of music we make? Just say some names. I was literally just going to lead on to your mixtape, your yeah. joint mixtape. Mm. I definitely feel like Bane is yeah. one of those people you yeah. sit well with um, I agree on sonically. That. Yeah. I love that definitely. word. It just makes yeah. you sound intelligent yeah, sonically. Yeah, yeah. Um, who else we got that sits well with you sonically? Bane. I like to collab with Notes. Yeah. Notes, yeah. I think you and Notes works nice. Yeah, yeah. me and Notes got a couple of... Uh, Couple songs in the in the in the, in the uh, bag. What do you reckon, Squib? Sonically, Lil Pino. Lil Pino, yeah. obviously, naturally. You guys, I think I think that what I think that what you do, you do really well. Yeah. And it's difficult. I'll, I'd I'd be interested in seeing you and Nave Smalls maybe. Yeah, Nave Smalls is on, he's, he's on keeper. He's, he's on the with, home alone. I could see you with M Honcho. M Honcho and Nave Smalls on on the mixtape. Yeah, I know. I oh, know. I heard about you say, that. You say he knows. We talk about you're the seance with them. No, 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 no. I'm just saying I heard about that, and I was bringing it back to our collab we oh, was meant to okay. do, and I was, you know, what I'm saying, saying I just, yeah, yeah. I just, remember. Yeah. but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, we know you work with Rich the Kid, but we're talking about features in the UK. It's it's yeah. difficult to just just make music with anyone. Sometimes you have got to have the right vibe, the right chemistry, whatever the case may be. So I understand what you're saying, but I think that Sorry. that's important because I think Calm some true, people. Some people just make music with whoever's popping at the time. So, okay, you're popping. Let's let's make no, something work. And you don't, don't seem like you're doing that. That's no, because, you know, you, well, my question, what you answered is what it is. So when, when, when we're saying we don't do features, everyone you just mentioned that sounds sonically good is who we've done songs with or even a mixtape with. So everyone do you think that's because that, we've heard it, though? Because we've heard it It now. could be, it could be, but I think... Not um, even from before. I think they know themselves. That's you know why they about? worked with them. Like, for, for us to do songs with... <laughs> I'll put this for you. We, we can do a, a song with, um, let's say, uh, uh, who's like a mad thing in the grime thing right now? Uh, or like another... Stormzy, Skepta. Yeah, but Stormzy's kind of... Stormzy's... I think he's more he rap now. and grime. Jeremy. Yeah. All right, if we done a... Now, let's say someone else other than Jeremy. P Money. All right, if P Money was going super grand mode on a song, yeah, and we done a wavy song and we mixed together, that's not going to really benefit P or benefit us. Do you know what I'm talking about? Because it don't really go well. Do you know what I mean? Depends what the song came out like. Yeah, but like, if that's was, why I said if, if he's doing like, super grand, if he's doing, doing super grand and we're doing super, like, so he's doing. Wah, 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 and we're doing yeah yeah it's not gonna go do you know what I'm talking about it might do with the right beat but yeah. he's big in his thing we're big in our thing but certain sounds just don't the feature sometimes is just for the feature we don't do that shit you know what I'm talking about so let's talk about someone who you featured well with which is Young Bane obviously yeah, shout out Bane shout out Bane yeah, um, shout out Bane I like that. I like, no, I like, no, no. I like, I like D Block Europe with Young Bane. I like it. I yeah. love, um, I love it. What's, what's that tune that was ringing, 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 ringing off? No, no, no. The only Gucci Mane. For Gucci Mane. What a bad boy tune. You're not actually sounding like a group. That's a big boy. Hey, where's our plaques for Gucci Mane? Ain't they ready yet? You've got, oh, the, yeah. I, I think you lot have got, like, I don't know if you lot have got the most plaques. Is that you and not? Yeah, it might be. Is it us? Wool and shit. You know what I'm saying? 
Huh? Yeah. Actually, it might be you notes. What about Rams? No, no, you know what? No, no. The most plaques, it might be you notes, Fred, Kojo. <laughs> top five, top five. You lot, you lot, you lot. You lot, you lot. Oh, you want your plaque? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, we want the plaque. Yeah. yeah it's like, what did you say? It's coming off the kitchen. We're kids. editing that. <laughs> Kettle pouring. Kettle pouring. Kettle pouring. But, bro, you told me you ordered it already, though. Gucci so where is it, bro? It's coming. It's Come coming. It's in the air, it's, 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 we're building. Come we're building. On, <laughs> it's, it's getting built. It's not no cheap stuff. I feel um, you. I feel you. Yeah. Obviously, you guys have got a lot of plaques. Congratulations, man. Yeah, love man, how you put you. them in the videos as well. Come on, we show love. And we show love, and that's why we get on well. <laughs> yeah. No. Re- recently, you've been showing love. You know. You know how to hit you, sack The other day. Yeah. So I like you ain't told Posty. Well, what's he done? No, I just had to hit him and say, yo, yeah. what like what, what is it? Cause we don't come around the office. I, I ain't seeing us like we ain't getting all love, really? but we get in love with home alone. So you know, I I, I ain't oh, gonna say to you, but okay. you know what I'm saying? I ain't yeah. gonna say to oh, you. Well. Shout out home alone. I'm alone, glad I'm state. glad we're we're oh, back to getting on <laughs> yeah. swimmingly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so obviously um Bane Cold Collab love the combination. Um it seems like there's more of a friendship there as well. Yeah, how, how did that come about? Um, Bane's through him and uh, KB, the relationship originally. I remember when Bane came to the hood in what year, like 2016, yeah. 2016 to do a song with uh, LB. They got a song for like 2016 before Bane became huge. I think before he even released his first video. Mm. But I didn't care about rap. I was thinking to LB, yo, you got me in the studio here, doing all the studio. I, was, I didn't care about it. But yeah, so the original thing of Bane is deeper than music, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's nice to see, man. I hope that there's um some future collaborations there. Yeah, man. Um, there's gonna be. Do you know what I really want to see? I remember um I remember going to a a Lox concert. I think it was in O2. I believe you guys opened the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you opened the show, this was way before Trap House, Large Amounts, this, that, and the third songs that everybody... 14. Yeah, songs that everybody it's really It's all 13, knows. it's all 13, it's me and Errol. Yeah, so you we went... We got booed. Yeah, I was there and I was sad, man, because... um, Because I was... <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't sad. Nah, you know he, why I was sad? He, he was trapping, man. He you know why I was sad? Because I knew what that meant. I, yeah. I knew that I was like, uh, cause, like, I was like, if I was them, yeah, coming out to my home crowd, yeah, 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 and yeah, obviously yeah. these lot believe in me or whatever the case may be, I want to shut it and everyone's happy so that you know what I'm saying, yeah. like if this is what I'm saying, <laughs> that what I wish, <laughs> and bro, like, ah, uh, oh, bro, I was pissed off, and and what I like now is that if they came today, it would be mad. This is gonna lead me on to my next question. But yeah, if they came today, nice. like you would, nice. that is gonna be that would yeah, be yeah, the yeah. greatest representation of yeah. of a show. And yeah. so what do they? So what do they? So now that and I remember I was even when they was on stage. I remember when they was being in that. I was looking at Sheik's face, yeah. and he was just like, "Oh man, you're doing my yeah. niggas dirty." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, so what do they think about like? Your development, so like, do, you know do they do they understand that you're 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 shutting it down right now? Your do, top, do you know your what? top, your top, yeah, your yeah, top yeah, six yeah. right now. Kiss, kiss of shouted course. out the um, kiss shouted out the tape today. Put the tape up on his gram today. But... Yeah, but does he know that you're popping, popping right now? Yeah, yeah but or kiss... is he just holding it in his hand. He if I was... knows where. No, no, but does popping. he know? Like, is he seeing? Is he seeing, kiss, is he seeing wait, wait, attraction? Wait. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Yeah, you see our thing with kiss, bro. Yeah, this is what a lot of people don't understand. God forbid, bro. Allah forbid. I could go to jail tomorrow for 10 years. So could he. We'll come out we and still be deep. Happen. We'll come out yeah. and still be deep like Europe. Yeah. So, so what, what, so obviously, yeah, because I was going to ask, like, deep it's deeper than rap. It's, yeah, it's deeper than rap. So, so, the name you've never thought about, you know, D-Block, um, about D-Block Brexit in or anything like that. It's, 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 <laughs> D-Block Brexit. <laughs> you know, wow. listen it's, set, it's in wow. set, yeah? See, We're leaving. Listen. The EU, not Europe. Not Europe. I know we we're not Europe. We still belong to the continent yeah, of Europe. I, I'm so. just saying, basically, to say you're exiting. Oh, like, will we change yeah, our name? Yeah. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. God knows what the future holds, but we right now, like... Because we... what if you went... What if... Oh, oh, you're still from Europe. So if you went to rep in, in 
America. You were Do we still, still DVE. So you're still you're still happy to be part of D Block as a whole, basically, even if you you may end up superseding that. Yeah, because all right, we could be DBE here. You know what I'm talking about? At heart. And then be, I don't know, Bando Baby 505. There. What do you think that that relationship did for you guys? Man, listen, we... Motivation. We seen a lot of shit out there in Yonkers with the OGs. But you know, they, they knew that we was different type of youths. Because first time that we land in America, we're saying to the... OGs in America, yo, how much are burners over here? They're looking at us like, what? These London niggas really, really talking to us about all this shit. I mean, I'll be getting in trouble from our <laughs> OGs that we with, but we can't help it. Yo, how much is lean? That's the first time that we tried lean okay, in New Jersey. Okay, because that's, that's another question. Like, you guys was, yeah. was abusing the lean. It's what's, not good, man. Why nah, are you doing that to your bodies, man? It's like we, you know, first trying and abusing is different, so we... You know it's not cough medicine. Nah, you, know, really? you know that people have died from from using. No, nah, but you stuff. know what? A lot of these people ain't just dying off of lean. You know, they're mixing lean with other drugs that yeah, they shouldn't taking a lot of shit mix it with, time. and then their hearts stopping from being. Okay, but, but you know what it is. Obviously, you guys, um, like I said, obviously, with um, success and power comes a lot of responsibility. You know what I'm saying? And you guys are currently in a position where. You could possibly, inf- obviously, you're, you're, whether you like it or not, you're, you're, you're role models. Do you, do you know what I'm trying to say? So, yeah, no, lean's bad. Don't drink lean. Yeah, but let me you know stop you there because if you follow me on Twitter, you always know I say this shit. Don't look up to me or LB, please. Yeah? Musically, sound, all of that shit, like drip, whatever, do that. You see, as people, <laughs> listen, <laughs> you see, as people, yeah, and I'm going to look at the camera and say this. If you want a role model, go to your local masjid. Yeah, go to your local mosque. Yeah, go get your good English media teacher, whatever, and build a bond with him. Don't look up to Bando Baby 29 and fucking LB, bro, for your role models. Are you like, do you know what I'm talking about? Like, and as far as I don't know, people, oh, but kids are still going to listen to you. Yeah, but then you as parents, bro, step in and deal with your children and make sure that they ain't exposed to certain things or hearing them, but not taking it too literal. And if you how ain't do, got parents. How parent, do you do that, though? Like how do you I don't say, know, okay, but that's a whole other combo. Two. It says parental something, advisory something, whatever it says on the thing. It says E. You go on iTunes, it says E. That stands for explicit. And now that you're a dad, you're comfortable. You're comfortable, 100% comfortable saying that that's, that's, that's I'm more than comfortable. My, listen, my daughter ain't going to be caring about none of that stuff there going on because she got two good parents that are going to show her how to pattern. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? So you're, you're for, 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 everyone trying to, for everyone trying to look at like us as role models don't look up to us please and we're telling you that bro go go to your local masjid look and, up to your imam please and, yeah? not us and also also it's always good giving advice but also and people can listen but I think it's also better to let people know whether you prefer life now what you're doing living life 100% legal making music 100%. rather than the dumb listen, shit just From enjoy before. our music, innit? Yeah. That's, just, just to finish that positive. shit off, Stay just enjoy positive. our music. DBE, enjoy our music. Don't try and, you know, if you're a good boy, be good, bro. Do you know what I'm talking about? And if you're a banger, bang. If you're, if you're whatever you are, just do that. But don't listen to us and change. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, anyway, we enjoy our life now a lot more than we did before. 100. But you don't plan to stay like this because I've seen you tweeting and stuff saying yeah. that your your plans are when you when you're when you're bored of music and it's over, your plans are to just go hundred yeah. percent and 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 do. When what? I'm when I'm thirty thirty five, I'm gonna cut off my dreads, I'm gonna grow my beard, and I'm gonna go live somewhere in Saudi or something like that, raise my children in an Islamic country. And you mean inshallah. that? I mean that, inshallah. Yeah, he's been, he's been saying this. But it's very, I hope I yeah. hope that brings you the happiness Inshallah, that you're looking yeah. for. Yeah. Um. All right. Cool. So let's get into it. Home Alone. No, but wait. Let's talk Home about. Alone. Yeah. Just let's talk about starting lean and abusing lean. So oh, okay. We We're started there. lean. Yeah. When that first trip to America, then we started abusing lean when LB got stabbed. Okay. That's when we really started. You know. Sitting down and 
So how did that come about? How did the whole, in, the, so you got stabbed. So you, we said this so casually. That's definitely not casual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what happened, LB? Niggas, niggas get into stuff, you know what I'm saying? Street We're shit. in the streets. Yeah. It's kind of casual, unfortunately, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, some stupid shit. I ain't gonna talk into details, yeah. but yeah, some stupid shit. Niggas hating. And where did you get stabbed? Here. Okay. Just under my heart. Wow. Inch away from my heart. Is that why you yeah. got the scar in your belly? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you know they gotta to open up your thing to check your. But we some real dudes. We just handle shit how we go handle shit. You know what I'm saying? So then we dealing with a lot of shit. You know, dealing with a lot of things and then... Yeah, A hit me. He said, yo, I can get lean. Yeah. I can hear you smiling, you know what I'm saying? He thinks that you're going to cheer me up. Calm this in my bed. I'm fried. Oh, so this... Oh, so you've tried it before. That's what I'm talking about. And then now someone's reminded you of it. Yeah. So we tried it first time in America. Now we're in England. Years later, he's been stuck. So I hit him saying, yeah, I can get lean. My nigga hit me. So he can get lean. And then, yeah, carry so on. I say, yeah, <laughs> get like eight of those. I'm in pain, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He pulls up to the crib and shit. We pull her up. And then like, I get a bit better like two weeks later. So he's like, yo, you want to go to the studio? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's that's, go. that's what really started this then, wave. That was like, a lot of the bangers. Bro, listen, like man used to, this ain't good. Don't drink lean. But if you're drinking lean already, you're going to understand what I'm saying. Man used to wake up. If you're up. drinking in already, stop. But yeah, go yeah, 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 stop yeah. in it. But do what you want. You're a big guy. So do your thing. Man used to wake up. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> like he used to be sleeping. I remember wake up and we'll just go in and out of lean comas all day. Like just waste on What's a lean coma? coma? <laughs> a lean coma is like. That sounds like one word. Lean coma. Lean coma no, like I like to wake mad. up now. It's, it's 10 in the morning. It's 11 in the morning. Man could wake up now and then pour up straight away first thing in the morning. So start drinking lean first thing. And then by 11.30... In the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By 11.30 in the morning, you're going straight back to sleep. Four hours, five hours, six hours. You're in a lean coma. Because you're waking up, you're drinking lean. And you're just going straight back into it. Straight back to sleep. But if all it does is make you feel... Actually, I don't even want to talk about what it does. But yeah... But and you gotta think about what young niggas are going through to wake up and want to go back to sleep. So bro. how are you how are you being productive in the studio if you're in these comas four hours, we, four hours? Because we hours. in the booth from like one a.m. you know twelve a.m. to like six in the morning, eight in the morning. Yeah, but that's that what niggas I'm saying, are half the... asleep. Oh, okay, right. Recording. Bro, okay. niggas are recording like this. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, shout out. Head leaning on the mic. You see when I made trap house? Hey, half asleep. When I made trap house, my nigga had to piggy bank me to the car. My legs stopped working. When I made trap pass, I thought I was going to die. I had to cut the studio session. I said, yo, LB, we're out. We had a four-hour session. I said, nah, go on, I can't feel my legs. Yeah, I have seen, you lot do know how to turn up. I have seen yeah. you very we turn happy up a few at times. times. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't drink much, but... This guy, <laughs> I just said, yeah, this life. guy is crazy, bro. Bro. <laughs> like, you know, you know how many times I've said to Posty? Bro. Every time you try it's gone the other way. Come bro, on, man. I've said to post you a bag of times, bro. Do you not remember the time I got you lot smashed up here? And then you had the, you had the, you had the, you had the, you recorded with Chip downstairs. But what was you drinking, though? The Nothing. The same as you, bro. No, you, hey, bro the this same guy as you. Camper, you know? now, the same as you. Hey, bro, you see these Nigerians, but you can't trust them because so, yeah. they too much shit. I'm not Nigerian. Like, <laughs> all right, go on here. Same thing. Same thing. You know what I'm talking about? It's all you know what I'm talking about. No, but you lot definitely know how to turn up and have a good time. Yeah. I mean, that's what I like about you. Um, I think I was talking about it when AJ Tracy was downstairs. No, no, no. You was waved that. No, you was you wasn't waved that day. We wasn't drinking that day. No, we were, we were. We just pulled up. We must have been drinking up. without me. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know about that one. We didn't drink that day. No, 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 no. We yeah. was talking about it. We, we were saying um oh, so we was talking about you No, know, one day we'll do it properly, but gonna have a good time. Yeah. Or whatever the case may be. Home alone is out now. Super proud. It's doing well. Um, How are you not feeling? Because LB, there's a shot, yeah, where you are absolutely feeling yourself in that mirror <laughs> in Kitchen Things. I could not believe it. I'm thinking uh, I know, I know things are about. going well what, right what, now. Yeah. What shot is it? Yeah. Is it? It's do, got a mirror shot. In yeah, 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 yeah. But, 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 uh, Bro, you, you can't even I, see, no. Man said, okay. But I look good, you look handsome, you look real nice. No, I said, yeah. 
Know All the freshness he wanted to make sure you uh, what you Last can see what I can well. see. Yeah? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're in the charts. I'm you know, feeling you, myself. Yeah. Looking real handsome. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No homo. Okay, and then we've got we've got a bit of a bar going on, LB. Where you, you know you're talking about putting the finger in the bum. And, yeah, and, and, I done and that. Licking it. Okay, so, so he's listening. I done yeah, that. He, I, really, he, he, I really put my finger yeah, in the ass. And and I'm gonna say <laughs> that's <laughs> what I'm saying is, is obviously no we know that shit, 2019. Guys. Yeah, people are really like are really open with what's happening. Mm. What what do you call like the male equivalent of a bad bitch? Like what do you call them in this? Because this is what you lot are out here. Like, Nasty ass like, nigga. Yeah, you're nasty. You ain't no okay. bad bitch, though. No, but no, that's why I said a male yeah. version. Okay, yeah. all right. We're not we're not throwing these names at you. Both yeah, but then all right. So you're yeah, but you're you're talking about niggas that bank food and all them thing there. So then, like, what, no, what's no, really you know normal is, and yeah. not normal? You're just you're just ten out of ten. You know, what I mean? you tick all boxes. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, you're but it's just because you're guys. out here about it, and then yeah. obviously. You know, whenever we see, I was saying it to you earlier, whenever we see the hands doing a madness, yeah. we're like, okay, that video could be on mute. We're screwing that, reload that. Yeah, we know yeah, it's yeah. a wave popping off. So he you, you was, you was going for it. You, I you just saw say, your vibe, could you see you? I just want to say one thing as well for people that talk about stuff like that, yeah? His bar, yeah? Like, you lot are listening to trappers talking about shorting in country. When you're shorting in country, you're unplugging on a nitty sink. You're unbanking your pack on a nitty sink. And running it underneath the hot water. Thanks. You're swallowing shots and going through your shit to get back your shots that you swallowed. So forget about all of that putting your thumb in a girl's ass and eating her pussy. What's nastier? A real nigga, a real nigga sitting there squatting on the floor putting parcels up his ass. But he can't eat pussy. Yeah, let's go. So forget about all that, man. Let's just, let's just stay to the truth and just stick to the real shit what's going on, yeah, bro. Yeah, there's real stuff happening yeah, in man, this we don't care about not that for shit, the radio, fam. we are busy. It's not for the radio, it's real shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, so um, Home Alone. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I feel like it's going to do really well. Yeah, we're you know trying to saying? get the top 10, you know. We're I feel like there. it's going to do really well. Do you know, you know what I, I really like about you two is that you're really crazy, yeah? But I can tell that I, I can always see growth in you. Does that make any sense? So, like, yeah. I can always see, like, I, I can't wait to meet you when you're 30, 33, 34. Do you know what I'm saying? Although yeah. we're not going to, you're going to yeah, be, be over yeah, there. Yeah, I'm going to be over but, there. But, you know, we can yeah. Skype. Yeah, 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 yeah. Skype. 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 Yeah, wow. yeah, they might bring no Skype back. Skype, yeah. holler at your boy. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I can see a lot of growth in you. So when I see, when I see you lot um, doing things that are creating more success for yourselves, um, especially things that are legal and things that, can better your life for the better rather than for worse. Uh, I'm very happy for you. So I feel like Home Alone is going to do some serious numbers. Um, how long did it take you to create? What's the plan this year? Is it Home Alone and we're dropping something else? Or are we going on a Home Alone campaign? We're going on a Home Alone campaign, but we still got over 100 songs unreleased. Okay. Some songs were like Kitchen Kings. I made that in... What a song. That's a sick song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Sick song. I made that 2017. June. Oh, for real? Yeah. Man. I put a post up the other day. I screen recorded the email from my engineer from 2017. That's crazy. So like from 2017, from, you know, lean days to getting piggy banked all the way to outside the of the car and that because we can't move our legs because we can't feel them no more. But yeah, fucking um, from then till now... There's some songs that are as new as two weeks old. Running Man, I think Running Man's two weeks old. Running Man was like the last addition to the tape. Yeah. And I'm talking about, so... So what do you guys want to achieve in music then? I always said 2018, I want to show the world that we the waviest in the game. I think 2019, we still want to show the world we the waviest in the game. So you're not just doing it for money, you're real passionate about it. If we were just doing it for, for money, then... We just signed a deal. We just signed a deal, innit? We've turned down big deals, seven figure deals, six figure deals. And even with you ads, a lot of people, I feel like, because you've got the whole wavy thing going on, I don't know what to describe your music as, but it's kind of wavy, isn't it? Yeah. People forget that you're actually a sick rapper and like, a reminder of that really was that... Um, Claire's story, yeah. Claire's story on R. Instagram. R. Yeah. yeah. Like that was, mm. that was... That was a real story, yeah. But it was, but the, the rapping element of it yeah. was very... Um, 
It was done really well, man. Um, yeah, sometimes uh, my counsellor said to me that, you know, I should... Oh, you uh, got a counsellor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. That I should uh, use my uh, uh, music to, you know, express, you know, uh, a lot of uh, traumatic situations that I've been through. That's that's important to know. I know that yeah. there's obviously loads of conversations around music and being to blame because there are people out here telling their stories on music. But you've then got a counsellor, a trained professional saying, actually, this is a good outlet for you because this is going to help you to heal. Yeah, because I mean, like, uh, Sack hit me saying, make that a daily duppy. I, I didn't want to make that a daily duppy. I don't want to. I told him to say I know you, you did. He said, Paul said that. But I don't like, like when you say no to me. So when I send it, when you say no to him, it <laughs> no, feels like less. I didn't say it to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but bro, it's venting. Like, I, yeah. I'll do that all the time. LB would tell you I'd spit some crazy bars about some crazy shit. I don't want to profit. Like, I don't want to make no profitize, monetize, whatever the fuck the word is. I don't want to make no money off it. I'm venting. If I if I keep it in, I'll go crazy. So, you know, I done Claire's story. That's off my chest. The world can deal with it now. You know what I'm talking about? I told you lot that. That's your responsibility. Now it ain't mine. I think that's a nice thing though because it, your fans will be able to see that there's that there's authenticity in it because there is there's obviously tracks that you will make to make money because people's got to live. But then there's yeah. other stuff it's like and you want, you're like, okay, for all the stuff that I gave you, can, can we can we re up now? This is something we yeah, can, yeah, can yeah. give back also, um, and then you're also you know being able to just express yourself and wear your heart on your sleeve a bit. Um, yeah. In those times, um, so how do you? Wait, not... wait, wait. Whoa. Can I call him LP? Does yeah, he, do you ever call you yourself LP, LP as yeah. well? Yeah. That stands for a couple things. <laughs> no, too much. Whoa. <laughs> No homo, definitely ain't no homo <laughs> shit, man. No, no, no it's not no homo, but... LP, yeah, let's show good. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Goddamn. Okay, so... What's going on, cuz, man? Because you're the quietest in the group, but they draw you out for the big boy contro- controversial jinx. How long How long you been running with the boys for? All oh, my life, really. Yeah, are you, are you all the same age? Nah, I'm the youngest. He's the young, youngest, youngest You're the in youngest, charge, yeah? bro. DBE oh. young boy. Oh. And are you um enjoying life? Fresh out of college, bro. He's been enjoying life since he was yeah, fresh yeah, yeah. out of college, bro. Yeah. School, bro. Yeah. You know, you're just going back to your brothers and that they're not understanding the life, so you can only express it with the oldest. You know what I'm saying? And um, but they're not getting it until they leave school. So you know what I'm saying I'm the only one that knows about the lifestyle stuff. Filipino officially is the youngest kid in London that has lived the best life that comes from the projects. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. Has his, has his life been that good? Bro. Hey, bro. Tell bro. me, LB. Bro. Has his life been that good? Bro. I can't even talk to you much, but like officially, you don't know. Semi- like, Are you 17? I was doing stuff. Bro. Hey, bro. 17. Yeah, he looks about 30, isn't it? This like, nigga's yeah. in California. How, how do you say I look, though? A lot of people tell me. Yo. Sams, what are you saying? Yeah, I did, I, did, I did think he was a real grown-up. I Whoa. thought he did. Whoa. Do you know what it is? It's, 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 do you know what it is? It's no, no, his, no, no, um... no, real grown-up. Sorry, sorry. I thought you was like 28. I did feel like you No, was... but I think I know no. what you're about to say. It's, 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 your, no. it's, it's, your, it's, it's your demeanor. Yeah, yeah I knew you were going to say Because you don't talk much. You look like... Not even 23. You look like he you don't might have a like baby a young, mom. But... She just texts you something wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something <laughs> like bust that. Up. But you really, bust it's up. just because you're high and you're just yeah. laid back. Yeah. Don't do... G time. Uh, tell them what you get up to, bro. Tell them what you get up to. Bro. Tell them what you get up to. <laughs> LA, strip clubs. Okay, you shouldn't be going there. Is it legal yet? <laughs> no. you to frequent these yeah, things? Hell no. No, no I'd be... I'd be bro, strip like, clubs bro. in this country. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. I'd be flying myself. Me and LB, bro. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. like, don't just try and bring but me guys, <laughs> guys, you, 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 you're his, I'll take him But you're bro. his older brothers. You should be making sure that... I, I hope you're giving him, like, it's advice. motivation, bro. Motivation. Yeah, 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 bro. Why do you think I made nasty? This guy... This guy has... I said, why do you think I made nasty? <laughs> <laughs> I think I jumped on, <laughs> on his lap. Mm. And he's throwing three bands yeah. in the night. You know Let me tell you one thing, yeah. Every nigga from the hood... From niggas our age to even Corleone, shout out Corleone. Don't tell you little, little yeah, Pino. Yeah, let us live. Little Pino been out here from a jip. Corleone used to let us live, you know what I'm talking about? He used to, you know, give us certain instruments to make us make certain songs, you know what I'm talking about? So we was out here from a jip. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So, 
you know, you, you got to get the Yangtze around you and let them live, man. Put what, a light what, on them. What, obviously, there's loads of highlights. What have been like the, the, the times where you thought, I'm not doing this? Obviously, outside of the time where, where you, was, you, was, you was catching right. cases. The Richard Castillo, when I, when I exited the deal with him, the just times when we're just making music and we ain't even getting 50K in a month views and I'm like man just leaving the trap house trap house is booming to come here and make a song and these little dickheads are writing some dumb shit on some comments oh fuck this shit when LB got stabbed I'm like man we just go kill a hundred niggas and stop rapping you know what I'm talking about you know you know what the worst thing is I had said I ain't even want to talk about that anyway I ain't even want to talk about that uh, <laughs> so I'm about what? to say some mad dumb hot shit but so um, what about like how do you like uh, we know that how you feel when people write comments and say oh you know you should go solo LB how do you feel about this because you're you're like out here really I feel great you know what I'm saying like alright wait 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 let me touch really, on that like, point like, though wait 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 let me touch on that point yeah because I, I didn't get to finish that I said a lot of the great things that you see from uh, LB Home Alone you like the name right of course you like the name mm -hmm. alright you like the artwork right of course you like the whole concept yeah nothing to do with me who LB no. Finish, yeah? Big fan. I ain't finished. The shard, you like the video, right? You like the song, right? You like that? Hmm? Nothing to do with me. LB. The whole tape with Bane. You like that, right? You like it? It's hard. Yeah, you see, you see Nothing to do with me. To answer, I'm yeah. Like, yeah. No, bro, people, That's to do with people, people, people don't understand how things, how, yeah, how chemistry that, works. Bro. No, he ain't you know here for that. Yeah. But LB's always been my best friend in my ear telling me, bro, you're the hardest in the UK. Like, I, I think I shit. think you both need each other if yeah, I'm being yeah, honest. Course, 100%. But, yeah. Yeah. But I'm saying, so when they can say stuff like leave LB go solo, it's comical. Like it's like, ha, you you don't even know what you're talking about, bro. Everything you love about what you're hearing, large amounts. You like that, right? Yeah, that's my favorite. How did that come about? What's the line I like in large amounts? You you must know it. Oh, this girl got these bitches acting naughty. She sucked my dick for some Giuseppe's and nutties. <laughs> nah, ain't that. Nah, ain't that, ain't that. It might have been. Nah, it's uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, LB, so, you, so you're just like, whatever. You're just like... Yeah. Wait, 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 I ain't even finished. Yeah, I, I we ain't know finished. you ain't finished. No, 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 I ain't finished. Wait, Trap House. Trap House when Trap we came house. back about, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Trap House. Whose idea was that? I come LB. back from Dam. I wake up in the car, I shit, I'm outside Harrods. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Why are we here? He's like, yeah, we, we shop and we got a video in an hour. I said to what? He said trap house, all right? Large amounts. I'm there. High as shit. You, you see me when I'm, you know, in that zone enjoying life. I'm enjoying life. He hit me saying, cameraman's an hour away. Go Porsche. I'm pulling up right now. All right, shit. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about? That, so, that Harris tip, trip sounds about typical for you, though. Yeah, because you look yeah. like you spend a lot of time in there. Um, what do you think about this whole Gucci controversy? So Have you heard about it? Oh, you know what it is? I got put onto it late because I ain't on socials like that, innit? But yeah. Like, I, he, bro, he stays in Lean Coleman, you know? People said, bro, like, why are you wearing Gucci? I'm like, yo, I don't know about that stuff. But yo, like, I stay in what I stay in. Like, I do what I want, bro. So it's like, but half of the people that are saying this shit, bro, like, this racist stuff, yeah? They'll eat from a racist place. Right. Like bare brands are racist, bro. Like right. you know what I'm saying? Like just just do what you're doing, bro. Like and let me say you one got too thing. Much yeah? time on your hands. Me and bro was talking about this earlier. I don't give a fuck who cuts this and puts this in there. One minute Instagram shit and does all these mad opinions. I don't care. Yeah. I said, raw. I said, when I look at a lot of hate that's going on, yeah. Even hate towards us, you look at the pictures, it's some black people. Yeah? We're black, but it's black people. Then you look at uh, Steph London and Burner, man. Them lot are doing some little relationship. Burner boy. Burner boy, sorry. Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't know if they're official or whatever, but they're doing whatever. You're looking at bare the comments online on Twitter. What colour are these people saying some nasty shit? Black people. When you're looking at all of these uh, things that, like all of these crazy situations and who's saying the negative stuff, what colour are they? Most of them are black people. And black people sit there and say, White people don't like us and the world ain't built for black people and these people don't like black people, bro. Black people don't like black people, fam. Yeah? So when Gucci's doing whatever, 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 you lot address yourself. There's more before. to life. Do you know what I'm talking and about? Gucci like, didn't make clothes for black people. Right. First of all. They probably made it for some little Italian nigga down the street, some little Giovanni guy. You know what I'm talking about? So that's what I'm saying, isn't it? So whoever takes that, do what you want with I don't give no fucks. 
that's my opinion, isn't it? my little humble opinion. I'm talking about. So one thing I do want to know before we disperse is the Red Bull incident. There was a, a chucking of a of a, a Red Bull can. Yeah. Yeah, at a big show. Yeah. Who chucked a Red Bull can? Well, I'm not going to say who. I'm just going to say there was allegations. And we'll see if there were any confessions. On the video, it's like 10 seconds. It's only me throwing it. It don't really show you like before that. So like, Cool. Women, we talk real crud, innit? Like, in songs. So, women are going to get excited with what we say. So, you know, you pay, you know, you fantasize over people. You come to their show, you might try and touch them here and there. All right. The girls touch my ass. First time, I ignored it. Remember, I ain't no hooker, bro. I'm a trapper. I don't know about just touching my ass when I'm walking down the street. Anyway, yeah. She touched my ass first time. I, I ain't saying that. Maybe, you know, she got it out. <laughs> so she got it out. Her she touched my ass again. I said, yo, put my mic away. Don't do that. Cool. She touched my ass again. We're on number three now. I said, yo, don't do that. Fourth time round, she touched my dick. And then when I say, yo, what are you doing? She runs up her mouth. So... You know, at the end of the day, you're paying to see Bando Baby 29. You know, I've got a girlfriend at home and a daughter at home and I'm on my last chance, five chances to go. So I ain't trying to make it uh, come out on video, me doing nothing. Then they're going to put up girls touch, young as his dick and he ain't doing nothing. Even if I made security go, yeah, security, come get this. That ain't going to go up. So then what? You know what I'm talking about? So... <laughs> okay, so that's that's Fuck definitely it. a political one as well, because obviously, if it was the other way around, I think people would have maybe have responded to to the groping in its own right in a different yeah. way. So, ladies, maybe don't maybe don't grope people no. as well as yeah. well as the guys, because guys, obviously, we know and, now, right? Twenty nineteen. Yeah, like I said, we, we don't care no, ourselves, but we, we ain't know a, a Afro B, whatever it's Afro wave swing, whatever it's called thing. And I'm talking about like taking off our tops on stage and letting girls touch our dicks and that, you know. We reckless, outrageous youth, so, you know, you got to act accordingly at our shows, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and Narsé, is a famous line? Yeah, well, you lot killed yeah. my office today. LB has been a frequent visitor here. I've never seen yeah. him smoke a joint in this office apart from today. But I wasn't going to say a damn thing. <laughs> Because it looks really authentic. Yeah, I look home alone out right now. If you ain't got that, go get that. It's coming out tomorrow, right? Um, I don't, um, bro. What are you talking about? You said it's coming out tomorrow. Oh, yeah, most definitely. All right, cool. So go buy that. We got two days till it touches the charts. Go buy that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Let's get a top 10. And, 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 and congratulations on, uh, on making something such a colloquial term. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, not going to lie. On. When I first heard you say it, uh, like, because we're friends and I like you. I was like, why is he doing this? <laughs> Don't lie. Because, no, no, Don't my lie. first initial reaction... I never heard you say this, No, bro. no, no. Listen, hear me out. Hear Don't me lie. out. Yeah. Hear me out. My first in initial reaction, I was like, oh, this is mad annoying. And then like a couple weeks later, I was just like, how often do I say that in the office now? All the time. It's yeah. like my thing. I was just like, you know what I'm saying? But I, I wouldn't really say when you're around because you might judge my... Way of saying it, you get what I'm saying? No, 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 you know no. What I'm saying? Say it, rain, bro. Say it, bro. Say yeah, it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah,